Hello world! Have you ever wondered the difference between types and interfaces when using TypeScript? In this video we're going to review each concept and see their differences. Stick around for the next minutes to learn more about this subject. I've left some timestamp on the video description in case you want to jump ahead. So let's start by defining each of them. What are types? Types refer to those basic formats that represent data. The most basic ones are booleans, number, string, arrays, enums. I've, I'm sure you've used them a lot throughout your code. If you want to check a variable's type, you can use the native JavaScript type of operator to get a string with the evaluated type of your variable. In TypeScript, there are also advanced types, and one of them being the type aliases. Aliases allow you to create a new name for a custom type. To create a new aliases in TypeScript, you use the type keyword. Now let's look at interfaces. Interfaces are key to TypeScript. They allow you to format and shape all data that flows through your application. They define contracts in your code. One of the most common use cases for interfaces is to explicitly enforce a class to meet a particular data contract. When working with class objects, you can either extend or implement an interface. Each of the properties of an interface is defined by a basic type. This is one of the key differences between types and interfaces. Interfaces can define their properties as optional. This is helpful for cases when some properties may be defined or undefined. To add conditionals to their structure, you just need to use the question mark keyword. In this example, the use interface has a conditional phone property. In addition to describing an object with properties, interfaces are also capable of describing function types. This helps to define returning types or the actual call signature of a function. Now that we have defined each concept, let's review the differences. The main difference is conceptual. Types are used to represent basic data, such as an onion, primitive, an intersection, or a tuple, whereas interfaces are used to represent the shape of an object with a set of properties and methods. There are also differences in the declaration process. What's known as declaration merging happens when the TypeScript compiler merges two or more interfaces that share the same name into a one declaration. Here's an example. Here we first define the song interface with a single property artist name, which is of type script. But later on, we redefine song and we add song name, a new property to this interface. If we then create a song variable of type song, we can define the properties artist name as song name as part of their interface. This is not possible with types. If we try this, the following error will result. To accomplish something similar, and for types, TypeScript allows you to intersect two existing types or interfaces into a new type. Here is an example. In this case, person becomes a new type thanks to the intersection of the interface name and the interface age. So, when to use types and when to use interfaces? There isn't a universal answer to this question. That depends on what you are building and the project you're working on. Interfaces work better with objects and methods for classes. If you can't express some shape with an interface and you need to use a, un a union, a tuple type, then type aliases are usually the way to go. Because interfaces closely map how JavaScript objects work, TypeScript recommend using an interface over a type aliases when possible. To conclude the video, I would like to ask you, are you a TypeScript developer? How do you feel about using type aliases and interfaces? I would like to get your feedback, so feel free to drop a comment sharing your experiences. I'm sure we can all learn something new about it. Well, this has been all for now, so I will see you around. 